2008 and 2010, um, I was homeless, had been a drug addict for so many uh, years. I would be living on the streets, some nights it would be you know, couch surfing or uh, trying to see if I could go to a family member house. And when I got addicted to cocaine, it was like a disaster. So it kind of, it, cocaine took over. It, it took over me, that's what it is. The worst thing that I could have experienced was the loss of, of my child. Uh, being able to uh, carry a human being for nine months and then when it's time for them to have life is taken away. What made me change is when I seen that I could have it all, and then just like this, I could lose it. Because of all the wrongful activities that I was doing was taking away what I had been blessed with. So I was talented, I was bright, you know, I'm smart, and I just got to the point where I knew that I deserved better than what I was doing. When I arrived at Saul's Barker, I was so happy. I had a very, very great caseworker, which was uh, Ms. Thomasina Barnes. And Ms. Thomasina Barnes, I was able to open up to her, just be honest with her, and she really helped me. Uh, Alicia Oldham, when she came to Saul's Barker, I didn't have to do much to her. She came on fire. She had a drive and a determination to do what she set out to do when she got there, and that was to get her high school diploma. She really worked with me to make sure that I was able to learn my subjects real fast. The classroom, my classmates, they were great. Sometimes she'd get a little discouraged in class because some problems were a little bit too difficult for her. But I can hear her saying right now, Ms. Randall, this is just too hard. This problem is gonna give me a lot of trouble, but I can do it. I know I can do it. My classmates, they were great. Um, we all just pulled together, try to learn together. But um, Ms. Patricia Randall, she was also an angel that came into my life too. Cause when I said I wanted my GED in four months, she said, you're gonna get it. She knew what she wanted. She just didn't stop. Did she face adversity? Yes, she did. Did she face hurdles? Yes, she did. If she knocked one down, she got right back up and she stayed in the race. When I first received my GED, I was so happy. I cried because when you out in the world, I'm gonna say in that addiction life, you don't think that you're capable of doing uh, of doing that. This was something that I actually can say that I completed. Alicia did succeed. She got her diploma. She marched. She walked across the stage. And she has that diploma to show. My daughter, uh, Imari Smith, she means the world to me. She's my angel because my first child uh, I lost. So for me to be able to have another blessing come for me to have a, another chance at motherhood, uh, it makes me very happy. I feel very blessed, but um, the main reason that I do what I do is for her, for her to be able to uh, have a better life, uh, for her not to uh, experience the same roads that I went down. Um, not saying that it was the worst thing in my life, but I just don't want her to experience all the things that I went through. I'm in college now. I, I'm going for my bachelor's in business. Um, the reason why I chose that major was because I plan on, uh, at the company that I work for, I uh, want to grow with the company and, and maybe become an assistant manager or a general manager. I want to say she was self-driven. Because see, what the, the, the challenge for most people is what's embedded inside of you. She came with the determination that I'm gonna win and I'm winning this time. 
So I, I could see a little discouragement in her sometimes, but she never quit. I mean, she made it to the finish line. I want to say a quote. If your life is going down the wrong path, uh, just remember, if I always do what I always done, I always be what I always been.